Reporting live, I'm Kate Bradley, Channel 12 News. You were meant for the bummer beat. Fires, car crashes, Black Friday riots at the mall. Look out! The station management are going nuts with all the risks you're taking. And I call that being a reporter. It's got to stop. There was a call from a woman in the South Bronx saying she found a bag full of cash. She's convinced it was given to her by a good Samaritan. Aww. Consider this a break from the bummer beat. A woman finds a bag of money? I mean, where's the story? You no, know, by the good Samaritan angle? I remain objective always, but no. There is someone out there looking over it and helping us. It's hard to believe that there's somebody out there doing good deeds and expecting nothing in return. It's real. I found it in front of our front door this morning. You left the bag here. Just last week, eight people have found 100 grand on their doorsteps. We're looking for the Good Samaritan who's behind it. A woman started an anonymous Good Samaritan club. And some guy in line at the grocery store anonymously paid for the next 10 people. <sighs> when I first got put on this story, I was sure Good Sam had some ulterior motive. But there are way more people out there doing good. Everywhere I go, everywhere I go, I know. Good Sam continues to grow with these random acts of generosity and when and where the next bag of money might appear. People say New York City is a tough place, <laughs> but thanks to Good Sam, I see more kindness between strangers. Good Sam is inspiring hope. Times like these, people need it. It's spreading like miracles do. The question at the top of every New Yorker's mind, Good Sam, who are you? I know that I'm not